Go. Welcome to Group 2's presentation on the Brunenix Osoretsky test of motor proficiency. Designed to measure motor proficiency in children from the age of four and a half to 14 and a half, it was published in 1978. Although simple in implementation, the instructions and setup we found to be quite complicated. The set comes with an array of equipment in which to measure both growth and fine motor skills, as you can see. One, go. We have chosen to illustrate three tests today on upper limb coordination. One, go. Subtest five, item one. Bouncing a ball and catching it with both hands. Please stand on the mat. When I say begin, bounce the tennis ball on the floor and catch it with both hands. Keep your feet on the mat. Keep bouncing and catching the ball with both hands until I tell you to stop. If you're ready, please begin. And stop. Measuring gross motor skills this test is out of five. The ball may change the results of the test due to its elasticity. Go. Subtest five, item four. Catching a tossed ball with a preferred hand. If you can stay on the mat and catch this ball in your right or your left hand, whichever is strongest, and catch the ball each time I throw it to you. Measuring both fine and gross motor skills, this test again is out of five. This is an issue of the throwing ability and consistency of the thrower. Okay, thank you. Two, one, go. Subtest five, item seven. Touching nose with index fingers with eyes closed. If you could hold your arm straight out to the side, close your hands and point with your first finger. Touch your nose with the tip of one of your fingers and then put your arm straight out again. Then touch your nose with the other fingertip and put that arm straight out again. Now please do it with your eyes closed and your head still and keep touching your nose until I tell you to stop. So if you're ready, please begin. And under normal circumstances, this will go on for 90 seconds. Measuring fine motor skills, this test is either a pass or a fail. Due to the age this test is for, the child may become distracted. However, this activity is simple to understand. To summarise, there is a degree of inconsistency and subjectivity for example, as shown with the second test demonstrated when catching a ball thrown by the assessor, this introduces a variable with the introduction of another person. Due to time constraints, we were unable to list the entirety of the tools. However, it is a comprehensive, multifaceted selection of tests on both fine and gross motor skills. The advantages are such that a selection may be used in either a home or clinic setting, some requiring no setup time or equipment. However, conversely, others require a far, far more in-depth approach. Overall, we found the instructions to be outdated and complicated and feel that there are many aspects that could now be made both simpler and user-friendly.